Okay, so members now let us see examples about similarity. So please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Now, here they are giving us triangle A, B, R and triangle P, Q, R. The one that shows that those two triangles are similar. What do we do? We say this will that tri this triangle are similar if first of all they are angular. So we need to show that angular triangles, all corresponding angles are equal. Let us see, show that ABR and PQR are similar. All I need to know that the triangle of PQR and ABC are having the same corresponding angles. I also find the size of PRQ, this angle, and also the size of ARB. Now, look at this. Because these two lines are parallel from the equation PQ is parallel to AB, it means that now, this one, this line is going to act as a transverse. And you see that these corresponding angles, if this is 40, it means that this, also, this one is going to be 40. If this is 60 and this line is dividing in that, this one is going to be 60 degrees. Now from there, you see that if I have this and this, I can easily take this. And this one is going to be, you see that now my angle, okay, if I have this and this, you see, I can get this. Now you see that. When I get 40 degrees plus 60 degrees plus the angle P, hey, this was R, please, P, R, P, R, Q, I get 180. And so my angle P, R, Q is going to be 180 minus 100, which is equal to 80 degrees. So, you so that even this one is going to be 80 degrees, and so if this one is also 60, this one is going to be also 80 degrees. Now, you see that angle, I mean triangle, triangle A, B, R, and P, Q, R are similar. Then, I want to get angle P, R, Q. Angle P R Q will seem to be the same as angle A R B. All of them are equal to 80 degrees. Why are they similar? Because they have same angles, corresponding angles. I think you see there. So this angle, I mean this triangle has 40, 60, and 8. Also, this has 40, 60, and 8. So they are similar. And in that case, they are angular. Angular. Now here they are giving us triangle of ABC and XY are similar. The same similar objects are in the same shape but different sides. So that the sides is smaller than this. So they want us to get AB. How am I going to get AB? They are using the idea of similarity. Now the idea I'm going to use, I'm going to say AB, AB over SC. Of course, you need to be knowing one side. If you want AB, you know the side already. So the idea is the corresponding side you use, you should have, it's the same side you should use the side. So here I use the AB. AB is here. Meaning that also here I use AB, the same corresponding side. So here I use the AB, here I'm going to use XY. Over here I use the SC. Meaning that also here I use the side X. Z like that. So that's how we handle that number. If you use AB first, here I use XY. So this AB over SC will be equal to AB, the corresponding length is XY. Then SC, the corresponding length is XZ. The ratios are going to be the same. So here if we substitute our AB, is what we are looking for, over SC is 6. Is equal to xy, which is 40, over xz, which is 20. And this is that this one, I cancel it. This one goes here to times this, so that my AB is going to be 6 times 2, which is going to be 4 centimeters. As simple as that. So that's how you can handle that. The number two, they are asking you to get the linear scale factor. So the linear scale factor is saying you get this side over of the two triangles, of course. 
So you get the big length for the big length over the small length. So now the linear scale factor start this triangle, the big length is here 40 over the small length. The small length we have seen this is a b which is 12. A b or if I'm to do it when everyone is seeing where these things are coming from, so the big length so this is x y over a b which will be our x y is 40 our a b is 12. We can use this by 4 you get 10, by 4 you get 3. Now, if you have the linear scale factor, I think you can, you know that you can get the linear scale factor. Then the right hand three here, you know that now is our area scale factor is equal to linear scale factor squared, which will be now 10 over 3, the whole squared, which will be 100 over 9. Then you know that the right hand number 4, our volume scale factor is always equal to linear scale factor cubic, which will be 10 over 3 cubic, which will be 1000 over 27. So that's how we handle that number. This is our linear scale factor. If you want to get, that's how we handle those two things. I wish you the best.